Hello Sagittarius and a very warm welcome to your October 2018 horoscope. Well the exciting news really comes next month when Jupiter, your ruler, moves into its home sign of Sagittarius. So that's exciting. But more to come in next month's forecast. This month We've got Venus going to go retrograde from the 6th of the month until the 16th of November, so about a six-week period. And Venus has everything to do with your finances and your love life. And when Venus goes retrograde, it's an opportunity to reflect, to reassess these areas in your life, so that when it goes direct again, you're ready to take direction maybe in a, in a new way in your relationships. It can bring somebody from your past back into your life, a friendship or a love relationship. Sometimes it gets resuscitated, sometimes it's for healing, sometimes it's to learn the lesson and then release the person so that you can move forward and step into your new life. Sometimes it can bring an old deal back onto the table, something you were negotiating ages ago, and it comes back on the table. And it's very good for getting bargains. So it's retrograding for you in your 12th house, and it'll go back into the 11th house uh, by the time we get to November 16th. And so what it's about for you is really, uh, it really could bring somebody from the past or a healing from a past relationship, and also uh, an opportunity to reflect on uh, the organisations, the groups, the friendships, the social circle you have, and uh, maybe there are some changes that need to take place there so that you're enjoying yourself more. Venus is very much about pleasure and enjoyment and food and all those kinds of wonderful things. And on the 8th of the month, We've got a new moon happening in this 11th house here. So an opportunity for some new beginnings with friendships, a new social circle, connecting up with people who feel like they're your tribe. You know, when you really resonate with people, it's like, ah, oh, I so enjoy being with these people. It's so inspiring. It's so exciting. This is really possible with this new moon. It also means, however, that you might need to be proactive no use sitting at home and hoping it's all going to come to your doorstep. You might need to really say, hey, you know, I'm interested in this. Let me do a course. Let me teach something. Uh, let me see uh, what other kinds of dreams other people have that are close to mine. And let me connect up with them. And on the 10th of the month, we've got Mercury coming into your 12th house. Uh, joining Jupiter there. So this is an opportunity really for uh, taking quiet time out. It's very good for writing. It's very good for research, for studying anything in depth, getting to the bottom of something. It can be very powerful for that. And also really good for studying astrology, tarot, psychic, channeling, you name it, anything in that metaphysical, unseen world especially if it interests you and anything to do with healing, would also be uh, very well uh, favoured with Mercury in the 12th. And on the 24th of the month, we've got a full moon happening here in your sixth house, resonating there with Uranus. So this is shining a light for you, uh, such as on your physical well-being. Maybe something comes to light. Ah, I didn't realise I was exercising uh, so infrequently. Maybe it's time to uh, create a different routine. Maybe it's a time to be uh, taken out of your routines. Full moon there. Maybe you're too rigid with how you're uh, allocating time to different things. Maybe it's time to be freer. It could bring a situation as far as work is concerned to a head. Maybe a big and sudden change happening. But breaking out from the old and giving you an opportunity to move into something new and more exciting and inspiring for you, especially in the work area. And also on the 24th of the month, we've got the sun coming into your 12th house, uh, giving you an opportunity really to really reflect, to make sure you take time out, to make sure that you really um, 
contemplate your day, get to the end of the day and really think about, you know, what did I accomplish? What do I feel good about? What might I improve? And really give yourself time and space in between all your busyness. That's what this sun in the 12th is encouraging you to do. So next month, the big month, enjoy this month, enjoy an opportunity for healing relationships and also an opportunity for some re-evaluation of your financial situation uh, for some positive action by the middle of November. Have a wonderful month. Thank you very much for commenting, sharing, subbing and liking or even loving. <laughs> Bye for now.